Flipping a foreclosure house can be a highly profitable venture if done correctly, of course. But today we're talking about how to successfully flip a foreclosure house. And we're building on your knowledge of buying a foreclosure house. I'm going to take you through the essential steps to renovate and sell a foreclosure property for a profit from the initial planning out the project and budgeting to a effective project management and even marketing strategies. I've got you covered and let's get started. Why flipping a foreclosure can be profitable? Flipping a foreclosure home or properties can be incredibly rewarding. These properties are often sold below market value and they are providing an opportunity to buy at a lower price. Then renovate the house and sell it at a higher price for a hefty profit. The key to make a flip successful is in the strategic planning and execution. With the right approach, you can transform a distressed house into a desirable home and reap significant financial rewards. But it's not without the risk of losing a lot of money. Let's take a look at the initial planning and the budgeting because planning and setting a realistic budget is the foundation for a successful flip. The first step in flipping a foreclosure is setting a realistic budget. This involves more than just the purchase price. We cannot forget that we need to account for renovation costs, the holding costs, and the selling expenses. The purchase price is the cost of buying the foreclosure property. The renovation costs are the estimated expenses for repairs and any repairs and upgrades we will be making to the house. The holding costs are the property taxes, property insurance, property utilities, and if there's a loan, the loan interest payment during the renovation period. The selling expenses are the real estate agent commission if you are using a real estate agent, the closing costs, and the marketing fees. So when creating a budget plan, the first and foremost, we must research comparable sales. Look at recently sold homes in the area to estimate the potential resale value. If you're working with a trusted realtor, that's even better. The real estate agent is a valuable asset during this process. They know the market, they can do the comps, and they have a pulse or whether the market is still climbing up or whether the market looks like it's going to go down. We need to get estimates from contractors and obtain detailed quotes for the renovations needed. And we need to include a contingency fund as well. You need to set aside 10 to 20% of your budget for unexpected expenses. And if you haven't already, make sure to watch our video on the ultimate guide to buying a foreclosure in New York. This video will provide a comprehensive overview of the buying process, which is the essential first step before you can even think about flipping a house. It's really important to choosing the right renovations and prioritizing the high ROI improvements. Not all renovations will add a significant value to your property. You need to keep your focus on upgrades that offer the highest return on investment. I can give you some examples of the high ROI. For example, a kitchen remodel. Modern and updated kitchens can significantly boost a home's value. The bathroom upgrades are also very valuable. New fixtures, tiles, and a fresh coat of paint can make a big difference also and the curb appeal, which a lot of people tend to forget, enhancements like landscaping, fresh paint, and new doors can make the property more attractive to buyers. It's really easy to get entangled in aesthetics and lose focus. That is why balancing cosmetic and necessary repairs is a must. While it's tempting to focus on cosmetic upgrades, don't neglect the essential repairs and addressing structural issues like plumbing and electrical system is crucial for both the safety and the value. Now, let me give you some tips for staying within budget. This one for the ones that have the skills and the time. So do it yourself. What you can save money by handling simple tasks yourself, like painting or landscaping possibly. And you need to shop smart. Shop smart. Shop 
S Mart. Look for sales, discounts, and secondhand materials where possible. Focus on quality, choose durable, mid-range materials that offer a good balance between the cost and the longevity. And you need to learn effective project management and create a renovation timeline. Having a clear timeline is as important and essential as step one for keeping your project on track and avoiding costly mistakes and delays outline the major milestone break down the project into stages such as let's say demolition structural repairs and finishing touches and you need to assign completion dates for each state considering potential delays. Monitor the project regularly to ensure it stays on schedule. Hiring and managing contractors, choosing the right contractors, and managing them effectively is key to a successful house flip. And you need to communicate clearly, set expectations, and maintain regular communications. Monitor the work, visit the site frequently, I would say, twice a day to oversee progress and address issues handle payments wisely pay in installments based on completed milestones rather than upfront now i want to get to the fun part marketing and selling the property and staging the property for maximum appeal and maximum profits so staging your property can help it sell faster and for a higher price i'll share my staging tips with you decluttering, removal of personal items and excess furniture to create a clean, spacious look, using neutral colors, neutral paint colors to appeal to a broader range of buyers, highlight features and emphasize the home's best features such as neutral light or architectural details, and make sure all the windows and the house is very clean. Let's talk about the marketing and attracting potential buyers that requires as a solid marketing plan. I recommend using a professional photography. High quality photos can make your listing stand out. List the property on multiple real estate websites. Use social media, use your own platforms like Facebook and Instagram and even TikTok, YouTube to reach a wider audience. You're gonna need to deal with open houses. Host open houses to give potential buyers a first hand look at the property. Here's an important point. Setting the right price is crucial for a quick sale. So we need to research the market again, look at comparable sales in the area to determine a competitive price. You might even want to consider hiring an appraiser, getting a professional appraisal to ensure that you're pricing accurately and get ready to be flexible and keep your emotions far away. There's no time for emotion. Be willing to negotiate with buyers and close the deal. The common pitfalls to avoid overestimating the after repair value. Be realistic about the potential resale value. Overestimating can lead to financial losses. Underestimating renovation costs and timelines. This one is bad also. Renovations often take longer and cost more than expected. Plan for contingencies. Avoid running out of funds. Have a good backup plan for unexpected issues. Always have a backup plan. Unexpected problems can arise and should be expected. Having a contingency fund and flexible timelines will help you handle them without derailing your project. In other words, be prepared for the unexpected. Flipping a foreclosure property is an exciting and potentially lucrative venture. So with careful planning, smart budgeting, and effective execution, you can turn a distressed property into a profitable investment or even your dream home. So are you ready to start your flipping journey? Take the first step today by researching available foreclosures in your area. Subscribe to this channel to get information and education about the process and their foreclosure in general like this video reach out if you have any questions and you're armed with this guide you have the knowledge and you have the tools to succeed don't wait your perfect property is waiting to be transformed and engage with us we'd love to hear from you share your thoughts questions and flipping experiences in the comments below my name is Isfir Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales and if you found this guide helpful, don't forget 
subscribe to our channel for more real estate tips and insights and i want to wish you happy flipping see you in the next video Thank you.